Hello and welcome to day 22 of 100 Days of Tonalism. This is your resident artist, M. Francis McCarthy. And the study that I did today is of a painting by Carl Termolin. And the name of the painting is Potomac. Um, I, Carl is a lesser known tonalist. I haven't seen much about him um, in any of my books or online. Uh, I did find a short biography, which I'll read in a moment. Um, as I stated in the blog, this is a painting I've had in my little folder full of cool toneless paintings for about, I don't know, seven, eight years now. And I've always admired it. And uh, it was certainly at the top of my list of paintings that I was going to make a study of. And uh, I'm really happy with the way the study turned out. And I think uh, Carl is a super awesome painter. I've uh, seen a few of his things online tonight, uh, researching uh, for this uh, blog and uh, video. And um, so let's read a little bit about his, uh, his biography. Okay, Carl Termohlin, born in 1851, died in 1938. Carl Emil Termolin was a gifted member of the toneless movement that seized turn of the century American art. Born in Copenhagen, Denmark, Termolin was raised by a family of artists and began painting and writing at a young age. He spent the first part of his career in France and Italy painting twilight landscapes along the Mediterranean and moved to the United States at the end of the 19th century where he established himself within Chicago's artistic community and gained recognition for his luminous atmospheric effects. Best known for his mysterious nocturnes, Termolin was a versatile artist who tried his hand at every subject, creating still life's portraits and animals. Probably got a little bit more here. That is it. Anyway, um, really nice painting. Great artist, second stringer, tonalist. Um, not much information about him, uh, which really uh, gives one pause. I mean, there's so many more artists today than there were back then, and uh, so many of us are working, you know, with some eye towards making our mark on art history. Um, the sad fact is that very few make it, and it's not even the most talented to make it. It might be, they might be the ones that have the most media of attention in their lives, or uh, the most scandal, or uh, maybe were the loudest critics of other artists' work. Um, these days, it seems, uh, you know, one of the ways, best ways to get attention is by doing something uh, that is outrageous. Um, my desire to paint attractive, toneless landscapes stems from. Uh, uh, me resonating with this this past impulse towards the spiritual landscape that is calming and soothing and and lifts you up. So many so much art these days doesn't do that. In fact, so much of what I see is you know not even really clever. Although God knows it tries. Um, but I'm not going to beat uh, current art or modern art to death here. Um, I'll write a bit uh, about uh, how I did this uh, study in, in the blog post, so you can have a read there. Uh, suffice to say, I did it in two passes, and I feel this is a case where the second pass really gave it that extra push towards um, luminescent, uh, glowing quality. Uh, we're getting close to the end of the video, so I'm going to sign off for today, but thank you for joining us for day 22. and. Uh, We'll see you tomorrow for day 23. This is M. Francis Mc... Oh, by the way, if you want to see more of my work, it's landscapepainter.co.nz. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow, and stay out of trouble.